What's going on? This is Nikki Twist from Winksound.com, and on these clips here, I'm going to be showing you how to time stretch audio and set it to the place you need it, or to make it longer or shorter, whatever you need to do with the audio here, you can really move it around and do what you need to do. All right, let's say you have an audio loop that's not exactly 130 BPMs and that's what you're working at. You need to snip it in the proper places, and then if you place it in uh, the range you select, it should be on time. But let's say I have something that's four bars long and I want to make it eight bars long because I want to stretch out the, the audio or something like that to make it fit in the region or make it sound crazy or whatever. I'm going to show you how to do that right now, how to time stretch in Cubase the right way without messing up your timing, which is very important. Okay, so now we're going to select the audio. You have to select the range. We're at four bars right now. I want to make this eight bars, so I'm going to go. I'm going to select the audio, right click on it. I'm going to scroll down to process, time stretch. Now here's what a lot of people don't know. We've already selected the range from left to right. So the easy way is go to select range, click it, and now it's automatically you're going to make that audio fit that range, not compromising the pitch or the quality, which is very important. And we're going to hit process. There we go. Now we have our audio stretched into the exact range that we selected. You could use this with any audio and it should help you out a lot. Hopefully this works out for you. I hope these clips were able to help you out with what you want to do in Cubase and help you move in the right direction with this music. Now if you have any more questions, you can reach me at NikkiTwist at Winksound.com, the new social video network for audio creatives.